Ladies, welcome back to Micro Tarot. This is your 2022 horoscope. A look at your energy for the year 2022. Welcome back, Aries. I know you guys thought, well, I guess you forgot all about us, right? Wrong. Wrong. Nope. Nope, sure didn't. But your girl's been going through a lot, Aries. If you're unaware, if you've been out of the loop, just check in with my community board. I've written all about it, okay? Girl's been going through some stuff, so take it easy on me, all right? Trying to get back into the swing of things, but I'm here. I'm here to do your reading, so. And I was gonna, I was not, I was about to say, I was gonna throw in the towel and say, nope, screw it. I can't do that. I can't do that to you guys. And Aries, you have always kicked things off on my channel. Virgo's kind of kicking ass right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Virgo is kicking ass. So <laughs> if you want to beat Virgo, you're going to have to, you know, make sure you're putting those likes on the video and subscribing and dropping your comments so that the video reaches more people, shares, all that jazz. That's the only way that you're going to beat Virgo at this point. <laughs> okay, Virgo is on the rise. Literally... And astrologically, Virgo is on the rise. Happy winter solstice, by the way. Guys, as you know, I pre-pull your oracle energy and we clarify at the end of the reading. General messages only. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. This is a future prediction. So it's very likely that a lot of stuff won't resonate with you right now because it's a look at your future energy. Also, be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements and other signs, Aries, because I have a feeling, yeah, uh -huh. you may want to cross-watch a lot. Just saying. I think you're going to have to, actually. <laughs> other than that, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to White Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony Wilson. For those of you who are new, if you like the vibe, you like how I read, Think about becoming a part of the White Crow family. Help me reach more Aries out there. I certainly want to be reaching more of you. Seven of Cups. Underlying the spread. Using our experience. Learning from our experience. Indeed. Indeed. No more confusion. No more illusion. A seven-pointed star. Underlying. With the moon. Yeah, I'd say um, cups showing up for you as well. So in the realm of love, Aries could be heavily emphasis, have the heavy emphasis on love for your reading. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is your Oracle energy, but I do not look at it. I pull it, but I don't look at it. It's just a personal preference I have. No real rhyme or reason to it. It's just me. Okay, let's go, Aries. Let's paint your story. Guide spirits, benevolent beings. Let's paint a clear and accurate reading story for Aries. Help Aries know what they need to know for their highest God in the year 2022. Can I get an amen for that? Amen. Amen. Wheel of Fortune, coming in for you, coming in. S cycles returning, stuff coming back around, maybe even something, something that you forgot about. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Okay. <clears throat> These cards are a little funky, so bear with. They're a little funky. They like being extra. <laughs> Alright. Aries, you're cut you you're cutting the deck right now. Okay. But don't get comfortable too soon because I'm coming right behind you and I'm cutting right after you. Alright, Aries, let's go. 
Wheel of Fortune style. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. And December. All right. Underline, we have the beautiful Nine of Discs or the Nine of Pentacles, as it were. Single, solid, happy, secure, all by ourselves, are we not? Or things are progressing in the realm of material abundance, and I like to see that for you. I really do. You're not wanting, you're not hurting. You could be. Let's see, what's backing you up? Six of Wands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Victory and recognition underlying. So we've come in. We're feeling damn good. And for those of you who aren't, well, you will be. All right. January, we have the world. Start of the world. A whole new world. Appropriate. Yes? Yes. A whole new world, Aries, the universe. We planted some seeds, we planted our roots, and we're using our intuition heavily. Tree of life here, tree of life. Planted. Planted. But are we? The world could also suggest something online. Travel. Could be traveling. Traveling during Capricorn season. The universe. We have Four of Cups as the overall energy for February during Aquarius season. Taking a time to meditate. Also the rabbit here. We're very fertile, but things are slowing down. We're not moving as much. In fact, things in the realm of love could feel stagnated, which we don't want that. We could be a little unsatisfied with our cups and what's currently going on. So we're contemplating around this time change. We are contemplating change at this time. Hence why the world is here. Cycles ending and beginning at the same time. Relationships that aren't serving us going by the wayside. New relationships blossoming. Mm -hmm. Come March in the energy of the Knight of Cups. Things are moving again. We're taking action again. We have learned from all of our previous life lessons. Also, you could be having, you could be dating a lot around this time, going on dates around this time. Offers being made to you, or you're doing the offering, Aries. I don't put that past you just because a Knight of Cups is here. <laughs> you could be making those offers. Mm -hmm. Water showing up for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two Knights as well. Kind of at odds. This person, I get... Um, This person's very different from you. Just putting that out there. Could be interracial couples, could be different backgrounds, different religions, different... Yeah, all that. And a bag of potato chips. Offers being made, though, here in the energy of the Knight of Cups. Things are progressing, you're taking action, and I think you're happy to do so. Uh-huh, I'd say you're very happy to do so. Ace of Wands by April. Moving into your season. So, you know, that, that's perfect. That is actually perfect. Perfect. Pisces brought you cups and love and taking action and dating. And by April, back into your season, we have a brand new, solid, fresh beginning. So you did close out some cycles back here. First part of the year, you um, maybe got back out on the dating scene a little bit. Put your foot, put your toe in the water, as it were. 
But now we're taking action in fire. I like to see that for you, Aries, especially in the ace. In your season, in your house. Yes. Yes. Aries says, fuck the past. I'm ready to kick my shit off. I'm actually the first house for a reason because I control the self, right? I am all about the self. And it's a balance of your chakras here. The caduceus here. Oh, yeah. Love on the brain. Fire, passion. Things are heated and going. You can also be very sexually active around this time. Just so you know. Just down there. there. All right. Oh boy, yep, we're playing like that today, Aries. Yep, 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 Let me know if you're dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius or you're or a Libra or you have those signed placements in your chart. Either way, we have two new beginnings here. What? One of fire, one of swords. Two opportunities. Two brand new opportunities. Two cycles. Aces. Back to back aces. What are we doing? What are we doing here? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's lovely. It's beautiful. One of fire, one of the mind. Could be air showing up for you. Maybe you're dating an air sign. Either way, two opportunities back to back. You saw me lay the cards, right? Like, I can't make this up. I shuffled right in front of you. We're very happy. Happy. Sun. Leo. You also, I consider, with the sun here come Gemini season, yes? Alrighty, so... <laughs> What's the catch here? I'm just waiting for the other shoe to fall because I know you're going to have a challenge coming up here soon. I know it. I know it. we got two beginnings here. Two new beginnings here. Two new beginnings here. Two. 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 two significant. Two. One and two. The sun number 19. <sighs> Quite literally something maybe even official by the 19th of June. I don't know why that's important. But it is something, something. You could have maybe some Leo or Gemini. I feel like Gemini for you for some. Anyway, here we go. We're very happy with whatever we're doing. We are illuminated. Stuff is, I feel like you're having a lot of conversations by this time, Aries. You're opening up. It's open. I feel, you feel so free to me. I don't know where this energy is coming from for you. Holy hell, your energy is wide open. Wide open to receive, to give. I feel like you're exposing yourself. You're, you're, there's no restriction. Like you're just letting it all hang out. <laughs> Figuratively and maybe literally, okay? We're free. Free. To express ourselves as well. Some much needed expression. Page of Wands, the Princess of Wands. Back to you, another technically new beginning with a person here, a new interest, good news. Lots of good news for you as well. Lots of good news coming around July during cancer season. God, Lord, Aries. Can I be an Aries? Can we swap? Please. Judgment call come August. Second chance. Second opportunity. I think we're thinking about making things official. I do believe with someone. Yep. Opportunity. Second opportunity. Second chances. Also awakenings. Spiritual awakenings as well. Growth. Things are growing. The seeds you planted. The seeds that you plant with this person. Right here. The start of the year was the universe. Changed the world. This seed 
that you planted has grown. It is growing. And I think you're you're elevating. I think you're taking things to the next level. And spirit approves, by the way. <sighs> Judgment. Judgment call. Up to you. But this energy is so beautiful, I don't even think you're going to know what to do with it. No? Nuh-uh. Hi, Priestess. Your intuition's already talking to you, though. I told you spiritual awakenings going on here. Hi, Priestess. We're quiet, though. Quiet? There are unknown factors. There are unknowns. This is your technically challenge. This is your, like, first even maybe obstacle of the year, but also some of you are just coming into your own enlightenment. You're balancing those chakras, right? Look at all those chakras balancing. And like I told you, this person's very different from you, or whoever you're dealing with is very different from you. Maybe even past lifetimes ago. Past lifetimes ago. There's much about you that you're learning this year, Aries. Stuff you didn't even know. It's, a, it's an explorer. It's a, a year of open abandon of exploration for you. The unknown isn't as frightening anymore as, for whatever reason, it used to be. I feel like you're, you're wide open to receive and to give at the same time. It's really quite lovely. It's lovely energy. Really. Truly. You're not afraid. Don't be afraid. You're not afraid. Six of Cups. Soulmate connection here. Nostalgia. Beautiful nostalgia. Sweet nostalgia. The six-pointed stars. The six-pointed flower. And a seagull, a seagull, something by the beach or by the sea. I don't know why the sea is so important here, but it is. Something by the sea. Maybe you have memories of this person. Maybe you used to travel with this person. Maybe birds could be significant for you as well. In either case, six is... The energy of overcoming things from the past, the Six of Cups, where maybe you have failed relationships in the past. This could be solar return, people coming around to you, stuff that you won't see coming with the High Priestess, keeping your, keeping your, your moves quiet, your relationships quiet, your progress quiet, but also... You've got so much to be happy for this year, so much to be thankful for this year. Just keeping an energy and expression of gratitude this year, Aries. So many beautiful opportunities coming your way, headed your way. If, if you're not already starting to see the, the, the evidence of this showing up, like, get ready, Aries. I feel the need to tell you. People from your past could be making appearances, though, also at this time. During Libra season. During Scorpio season, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, that seed you planted. We're waiting, right? Waiting on that seed to grow, to blossom, to bloom. But you've planted a new seed for the next year. A new seed. Seven. Persevere. Growing from experience, right? Before you grew from trauma, now we're growing from experience, Aries. Before we had to learn all these tough lessons the hard way, now you've learned from... Now you're learning in a loving way. You're learning in a creative way. You're, le you're using the knowledge and experience you've gained along the years, over the years, or over however many relationships or business opportunities you've had that have crashed and burned, right? We're using all that experience to start something new, fruitful. And we're going to wait on it. 
it's worth waiting for. And I think you know that. I think whoever it is you're, you're talking to here also knows it. Now, you're dating this year. I know that for a fact because the only court card that showed up for you is a knight and a page. We're not elevating. We're not taking things quite to the next level yet, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Another night taking action, right? We want to take things to the next level. You're traveling a lot with this Knight of Swords. Communication is needed. You want to talk, talk, talk. Taking action to talk about these investments that you've planted. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good stuff. We're moving. Just do it. Like Nike says, just do it, Aries. All right, let's go through these oracles. This is not a bad year for you at all, if you were wondering. If I hadn't made that clear already. This is a heart-filled year with the heart chakra. Yes. Love is at the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect perfection, protection, and guidance. You are so protected. And for those of you who have been seriously hurt or wounded in the past, like, Spirit's just calling you to open up and finally receive the love that you truly would deserve in this lifetime for many of you. Mm -hmm. to accept what you want and to cut out what doesn't serve you. Yes. Cut out what's not moving forward, what feels stagnant. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yep. Can't make it up. Yep. Yep. Yep, we have romantic feelings. Your romantic card is romantic feelings, Aries. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Who are you meeting this year? Oh my God. And we also have getting to know each other. Well, that makes total sense now, don't it? Okay. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, revealing yourselves to each other. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what a lovely year for you, Aries. You and you, you, Pisces just had a great reading. You're having a great reading. Virgo's having a great reading. I mean, all the signs have had pretty, pretty decent readings. Leo's having it kind of rough. And Gemini. Just a little bit. A little bit. But it, your numerology card is 16. Rebirth. 16. Could be a number for you. The year the 16th of any given month could be significant to you. You could be born on the 16th. Um, let's see. You, it's about rebirth. You kind of some, felt the need to say like some heavy scorpionic placements. Shedding an old skin, an awakening, judgment, a rebirth. Something that you never thought was going to come to pass is going to come to pass, Aries. Maybe even a person you never thought you were even interested in. A job that you never thought you would get. A position, a business, a venture, something you wanted that you never thought would come back around is coming back around. Six of Cups, and I do believe we saw the Wheel of Fortune somewhere at the start of your reading. Oh yeah, things are coming back around in a wonderful way, in like a glorious way for you. Wow. 
two big brand new beginnings here. Blessed. You have blessed. Your wisdom oracle card. Number 22. We blessed. We blessed up. We are blessed. Aries. Blessed. Hallelujah. Aries, you did it. Yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. Hallelujah. Sorry, I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, will you please stop that? Just stop. <laughs> All right. Something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. There are moments in life when, out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts <laughs> in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know deep down you did not deserve any of it, yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you now. Relationship message. You are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection, this union, blessed by the divine. Will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important you are being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. The prosperity message. Unexpected windfalls of good fortune come your way now. You are in a phase where any difficulties or obstacles that have stymied your success seem to disappear on their own. Be ready to receive. The windows of opportunity will open wide. Accept the blessings given to you now, and don't forget to share them. <sighs> ah! Oh, I'm so excited for you, Aries. Oh, this is so beautiful. Unexpected windfalls of good fortune come your way now. Unexpected windfalls. That might be the title of your video. I just feel like it. I do. I feel it. I feel it. Love this reading for you. You put one of two Black Moon Astrology cards today. I was going to give you a healing card, but the Isis card should be pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So, how very interesting. Okay. Hmm. We have Eighth House, Endings and Beginnings. Number 32 breaks down to five changes. This is also very Scorpionic energy. Scorpionic energy, endings and beginnings, you also have, wow, the fire element, desire. Basically, the Ace of Wands, all over again. Well, you hear, boo, and I like to see you show up, frankly. <laughs> That's nice. I can let you're consistent. You know, you're, you're near a cardinal sign. I'm like, yeah. I, I, I see this with your energy a lot. 
you you show up, Aries. You you know. You know. Ask and you were there. <laughs> okay, let's read endings and beginnings. The world here. Oh yes. From my rotting body, flowers shall grow, and I am in them, and that is eternity. Edward Munch. This is where it all goes dark and becomes mysterious. In astrology, the eighth house represents the long dark night before light comes, where a new dawn is on its way, but you need to grapple with the darkness and the unknown a little while longer. Traditionally, the eighth house is about sex, death, psychic powers, control, and material things, such as money and inheritance, that which belongs to other people, but such things you will end up owning, or at least partly. It also represents the time of year when Halloween, or Samhain, takes place. Samhain. Mm -hmm and involves all dark gothic things associated with it. Halloween could be significant to you. Some, for some of you, like Halloween is your, your favorite holiday, or something around Halloween is very like sacred or precious or significant to you. So keep that in mind. Talking about material abundance, you could be coming into some inheritance or just more because your money is increasing. I feel the need to say this year, Aries. Mm -hmm. This is technically the death card of the Black Moon Astrology deck. Should any of you face a death in your family? This year, you could be in line for some inheritance. I'm not wishing that on anybody. I'm just saying you could be, I feel the need to say like you could be in someone's will or something like that. That's, that's how I feel. That's what I feel the need to say. I think that's why that card showed up too, because it wasn't going to, and then all of a sudden it did. It wanted to. So I was like, oh, okay. All right. We also pulled fire, desire, basically the ace of wands all over again. Passion, though a bad regulator, is a powerful spring. <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson. There are changes coming, new movement. Look for them to be quick. The element of fire in astrology is all about beginnings, our passions, and how fast we get our energy moving. It speaks to how rapidly we react and how long it takes us to accomplish what we set out to do. Fire is burning determination. Fire scorches away impurities, clearing a landscape for new growth and leaving an area healthier and stronger. The signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius fall under the influence of fire. When the fire element card is involved, expect changes to be dramatic in an unforgettable way. A situation is about to be transformed through a wake-up call or a personal epiphany. I'd say so. Oh. A lot of, and I feel like, like, a lot of personal epiphanies for you this year, Aries. It's it's in its regard to a multitude of things. I feel like spirituality is really opening up for you. I mean, most of you already are very highly spiritual, but spiritual in even more ways. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to say many of you are more practical than you are spiritual, which makes a lot of sense to me. Either you don't have to be spiritual to do divination work or tarot or anything like this. There's all, I mean, there's nothing but science, to tell you the truth, that backs up everything that I'm doing. This is all numerology, technically. 
a lot of it. Numerology. I like psychometry myself. Um, hydromancy. Pyromancy. Some of you. Some of you. Some of you do. So use your gifts. You will use your gifts, I feel the need to say. Like this year. A rebirth. Rebirth. Freedom of expression, the sun. Look how much fire is in your your reading this year. Mm -hmm. Really taking action on our new beginnings. Hello. All right. Truths unveiled. The revelation of Isis. The revelation, like something revealed, and some like an aha. An aha moment. Your aha moment is like at hand here. Yeah. When? I don't know, but I'm loving it for you. <laughs> Can I be an Aries? Can we switch? <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. All right. The revelation of Isis. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice things of anxiety or doubt within you. You may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. And that is partly, I feel like, this energy that you're transmuting here at the very beginning of your year, Aries. Mm. The revelation of Isis is needed when something or someone is not as it outwardly appears to be. No matter how sacred it may seem, a spiritual person, a family relationship, a shared history, there are times when although it is more painful to admit the truth in the short term, in the long term, it will save you much suffering and feelings of being duped, misled, manipulated, used, or abused. It will also make it more likely that the situation or relationship can grow into a healthier expression, if possible. You cannot heal what is not revealed. Isis is with you now to help you realize the truths, to admit that you probably already sensed anyway, and to make wise use of these revelations now. So for those of you like, speaking of truths, like Ace of Swords here, whatever energy you are transmuting here at the beginning of the year, Aries, you're cutting out bad relationships. Many people are. Many of you are having your spiritual awakenings now and at the start of the year. You're taking another look at your relationships and people who were not meant to be on your path. Or maybe they are, but or maybe they were, or you thought they were, but you fell into some sort of karmic cycle with them. You're taking a look at this and you're really examining who's for you and what's not. And who's not, I should say. But regardless, Revelation, the sun, is about illumination revealing stuff gets brought out into the light and once those things are brought out into the light when there's no transparency when things are not being hidden you are able to take action in ways that you never thought you could and vice versa those people are able to take action with you in ways when there's transparency right transparency either way this is a stunning year for you, I feel like, in so many ways, Aries, and I'm really happy to see this energy for you. I'm going to leave your reading right there. I hope this reading did serve you. 
please let me know down in the comments. I hope this is your story. I hope you're claiming this story. Aries, I'm sending you so much love and light. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video if you found something helpful in this reading. Thank you, and I will see you soon. Take care.